So we started a series in Potsdam. Chancellor Merkel was giving a keynote. When in 2009 it happened in London, Prince Charles was providing his fine palace, actually, was the venue of a debate. And now we are actually at the home of the Nobel laureate, so to speak. This is our second term, that is, the Royal Swedish Academy and Sweden and Stockholm. So this is a very special event. So, what, how's it going? Oh, actually, it was a very constructive and I have to say enjoyable morning. Uh, I mean, we have some of the brightest minds of this planet gathered here. We did it in a completely new format. We had a sort of jury, the Earth system against humanity, so to speak. Uh, so we did it with a prosecutor and a defender and so on. So it was a new intellectual format, but it went really well. And in particular, the last round of comments was extremely constructive. But I also have to say the speech by the Crown Princess Victoria made a, a huge impression. Now, it is really to tell the politicians again, of course we understand that the game of politicians is, you know, how to organize majorities uh, and how to sort of survive within the system. But we will also tell them there are a few messages which you simply have to acknowledge. But so far, the agenda is fairly vague, really. Yeah? People talk about green growth, whatever that may mean. And we try to sharpen this agenda. We will make recommendations. What are People doubt, in particular the public, scientific evidence. I mean, here, here where the Nobel Prizes are given away, yeah, this is, in a sense, the holy grail of reasoning, scientific reasoning. But if you go out there to people on the street, they say, oh, science. Uh, I mean, they believe that the light is going on once you switch <laughs> sort of a knob uh, that is based on the theory of electricity, for example. There we believe in science. But if we tell them there is global warming, we say, oh, leave us alone. And one message is here, no, the scientific system is able to deliver. In my experience, because I have been advising the German government, also the British government for quite some time, the thing is, if you repeat the same message again and again and tell people both the inconvenient and the convenient truths, very often, finally they get it. <laughs>